Hello everyone, this is Reverend Maria Laloet, Coordinator of Seniors Ministry at St. John's Presbyterian Church in Grimsby, and you are watching the next segment of The Minutes with Maria. When I am driving, I am listening to WDCX Radio, which is a Christian radio station airing from Buffalo, New York. And when I was listening to a sermon, I wished that my son was hearing that uh, particular sermon. And then I remembered what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 11, verse 15. Let all who has ears to hear, let them hear. Or about the same sentence in the Gospel of Mark and also in the Gospel of Luke, sounds like this. Whoever has ears, let them hear. So you see, this made me realize that this is not just some generic statement like, hey, everybody, listen up. Jesus is calling for all people to take a careful heed. He who has ears means every person, regardless of age, ethnicity, language, or occupation. He is saying, my word is for all. This is for all, friends. His word is for everybody. Let them hear. For his word is not just an audible sound, but a message for all who is willing to listen, then have a better understanding, and then begin to live by the word. But you see, in the first step is to hear, to listen, to hear it over and over again. Someone once said that is why the holidays are repeated. So we can hear the birth, the death and resurrection, and the teaching and the healing work of Jesus over and over again. I don't know about you, but every year, or even every time I hear the stories of the Bible, I find something new, something fascinating, something that worth to research and pondered on. Like a child who is asking for more bedtime stories, I want to hear more, I want to learn more. And I like to ask the question, Lord, what does this mean for me? This is when the divine reset starts, friends. God wants us to listen and seek understanding. There is a difference in just being able to hear and being able to listen. I mean, really hear and really listen. Because when we do that, attitude carries the seed of an expectation to learn. We become more conscious and our actions later will reflect that. When we really hear, hear the word of God, and we should, because the Lord blessed us with two ears, the word should change us by making us aware of our wrongdoings, whether they are conscious or unconscious. The word can melt us, mold us, form us, and change us into men and women God wants us to be. In Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, we hear 
the following. Let us listen to the word of the Lord. For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and spirit, of joints and marrow, and discerning the thoughts and the intention of the heart. Also, regarding the word of the Lord, we hear the following in Psalm 119, verse 105. Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light of my path. This verse furthers the idea that reliance on God's word is the only way to successfully live as a Christian. Let us pray. By the aid of your holy word, let us reflect more on what we need to change, Lord. Help us to look deep inside of ourselves and let your word speak to us. Let your word be a lamp to our feet. Let us be reminded that we as Christians should be living examples of your grace and mercy every day, every hour, every minute you bless us with. Amen. And friends, in closing, just remember that God never sends his loved ones into a situation alone. God goes before us. God stands beside us. He walks behind us. Whatever situation we might be in right now, be confident that you are not alone. God is with us. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other.